it really helped me to remember all of the different aspects of the armor of God. I was going to watch that and I forgot it was on. Oh, wait, I, I recorded it. You want to watch it? Yeah, let's, let's watch do. it. This is Jeffrey. Welcome your host, Alex Trebek. Thanks for joining us tonight for this evening's edition of Jeopardy. We have three very special guests with us tonight. I want to introduce you to our three guests. First off, we have Lottie. Tell us about yourself, Lottie. Hi, I'm Lottie. I'm from Southern California, and I love trivia and Alex Trebek. <laughs> well, I care some for you. And... Next, we have Pastor Joe Lewis. Yes. Tell us how you got that time. Yes, well, I'm Pastor Joe Lewis from Annistown Road Church, where the Word of God is the Word of God, and the Word of God is the Word of God. Thank you for your redundancy, Pastor Joe. And let's move on to Winifred. Welcome, Winifred. Tell us about yourself, you blue-headed little thing. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. My name is Winifred. I'm from Sussex, England, where I teach arithmetic and mathematics to the youth of our age. Well, great. It's so awesome to have you guys here tonight. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you win some money, not a lot of money, because it comes out of our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd like to talk about our three categories tonight. First, we have Esther. Next, Joshua. Things about Joshua. David. And then, of course, we'll go into our final Jeopardy, which is the most nail-biting part of the show that everybody waits for. Lottie, you're up. Go ahead and pick for us. Okay. Um, I'll take Esther for 200. Esther for 200. Our question is, Esther decided to do the right thing when Mordecai told her she was chosen for such a time as this. What piece of armor could she have worn to do the right thing? <sighs> Pastor Joe, what is the word of God? No! Lottie. What is the breastplate of righteousness? That is correct. Way to go. All right, Next then. question to you. Okay, I'll go on with that category for four. So Esther for 400. Yes, Alex. Esther could have been killed by telling King Xerxes that she was a Jew. Her shield of blank kept her strong. Winifred. What is the shield of peace? Mmm, so close. Let's go to you, Lottie. What is the shield of happiness? Ah, wrong again. Oh, Pastor Joe, would you like to give it a shot? Yes, yes. What is the word of God? Ooh, no. We're looking for what is the shield of faith? What is the shield of faith? Good try. Okay, I'll take Joshua for 200. Joshua for 200. Joshua and his army had thousands of rocks and bricks that came tumbling down around them. What piece of the armor of God helped to protect their heads from being crushed? Pastor Joe, oh, I got this, I got this. What is the word of God? No, it's not the word of God. Good try. Lottie, I mean, uh, Winifred. What is the helmet of salvation? Correct, Winifred. I'll take Joshua for 400. Joshua for 400. On the seventh day, Joshua's army surely had sore feet from marching around Jericho seven times. What helped protect their feet? Pastor Joe. Oh, what is the word of God? No. No. Lottie. What is his army combat boots? Hmm. Close. Winifred, you want to take a stab? Um, I believe. Good try, everyone, except for Pastor Joe. 
The answer we're looking for are the shoes of the gospel of peace. And back to you, Winifred. I'll take David for 200. David for 200. The question reads, what item did David wear around his waist knowing that he was going to defeat Goliath? Pastor Joe, Woo! the word of God. No. No. Lottie. I know this. What is the belt of truth? Good job, Lottie. Over to you again, Lottie. Okay, let's finish that category for four, please. David for 400. The question reads, in the spirit, in the physical realm, David used a slingshot as his weapon to kill Goliath. What was his spiritual weapon? Lottie? Um, I know this. Uh, he had a, uh, was it a, was it a, was it a gun? Yes! No. <laughs> No. Winifred, over to you. Uh, I believe he used bricks and mortar. No, not even kind of close. Pastor Joe, do you stab at it? Uh, I, I don't know. Are you sure you don't know? The answer is, what is the sword of the spirit? Now we're on to final jeopardy. Bum, bum, bum. We've had a great night of Jeopardy tonight. And we're on to the most exciting part of our show, Final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy. In this phase of Final Jeopardy, they all wager and see how much they might win by wagering what they have left. And whoever has the most points wins. Tonight's question is, all the pieces of the armor of God are used as protection and defense, except for which i'll read that one more time so you can get get a minute to think about it all the pieces of the armor of god are used as protection and defense except for which good luck all right our time is up let's see what answers we have tonight Lottie? Uh, is it, uh, is it the gun? No, I am so sorry. And what did you wager? Uh, All uh, of it. Uh, uh, I am so sorry. Uh, Winifred, on to you. What was your guess tonight? What is the helmet of peace? Ooh, I am so sorry. And what did you wager? Oh, you also wagered everything. Pastor Joe, Joe, I'm actually afraid to ask. What was your answer? The word of God? Oh. What is the word of God? What is, I'm sorry, that's not right either. Well, looks like tonight there are no winners. Wait, wait a second, wait. Our judges have deliberated, and actually, Pastor Joe, the sword of the spirit, is the word of God. You are our winner. You are our Jeopardy champion. Great job, Pastor Joe. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. We'll see you next week on Annistown Kids. Woo! Worship. Good morning, everybody. We're so happy to see you again on this beautiful Sunday morning. We hope that you enjoyed this game show about the armor of God, and we really hope that it helps you remember all of the different aspects that God equips us with every single day with the armor of God. The armor of God are not physical things like a sword and a helmet, but they are things that you can pray about every single morning before you leave your house. God has given you these tools to equip you, to make you stand strong in your faith every single day. So the next time that you're tempted by sin and you feel the enemy is pressuring you to do something that you know is wrong, just pray and put on your spiritual armor of God. Maybe it's cheating on a test or lying to your parents or stealing something. Anytime that you feel that pressure and you know it's wrong, just remember that God has equipped you with these amazing tools and you can fight the enemy with the armor of God. Just remember that Jesus loves you and so do we. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong.
against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. We can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God. The full